Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will configure how to configure VLANs on SofaSec G firewalls and uh, how to relay DSCP on the VLAN. So I will create five VLANs: admin VLAN, CCTV VLAN, printer VLAN, LAN, desktop laptop VLAN, and guest network VLAN. So I will create three VLAN interfaces and I will uh, join these interfaces uh, VLAN to DSCP group so that uh, these VLAN can get uh, DSCP IP from SOFOS firewall. So how can I do that? Let's start this video. So first we need to log in with our firewall. I have sign in. I need to close this. Go to interface, network. Now I have uh, login with my interface and then you need to select which interface uh, where you need to uh, create VLAN. So I want to create VLAN on interface port A. So just select here add interface and click here add VLAN. You can see go here then click here add VLAN then oh, click select. Then here you need to give name like admin VLAN. Sorry guys. First, our VLAN is admin VLAN and port tag LAN. And here we need to uh, this uh, this is LAN zone and VLAN ID is 100. Then after uh, give the IP address. Uh, it's uh, in, uh, when we select DSCP, then it it will not good. We need to select here uh, one interface IP like 192.168. 100 dot 200 dot sorry 200 dot 1 we have selected 200 dot 1 and then we need to click on ok we have uh, always remember we have uh, created VLAN ID 100 so you can map with your L3 switch so first we have created uh, admin VLAN then we will create the same for uh, another VLAN but uh, it is taking longer time to save because once this configuration will save then we can we I will add another VLAN wow I think it's save and you can see admin VLAN created interface now you can see here is one button added and when I click then automatically this VLAN will be so I think it is you, you can see we have created VLAN I will, now we need to create another VLAN add, add VLAN then we need to click on CCTV underscore VLAN because this is broadcasting LAN and this LAN 50 and 192.168.10.1 now uh, when you create a uh, when you give the VLAN ID then automatically port dot ID will be created so now I am going to click on save sorry guys I think something happened VLAN ID VLAN ID always okay so we need to create uh, 150 oh, oh sorry i think my ip address is already huge so let's 10 dot ten dot ten dot hundred dot one I think this will be okay for this because already I have created one interface where these IP address uses that's why it is getting error. So now uh, we have created uh, almost two VLAN interface one for CCTV one for admin and rest three pending uh, VLAN ID where we need to create. So once these uh, three done then uh, I will apply DSCP policy how can we DSCP relay on this VLAN. So as you can see, we have successfully created two VLAN and uh, it is loading again. Yeah, 
yeah we have created two villain uh, one villain id is just admin and another cctv let's create another villain printer villain and this villain id is 1015 and villain id is 10 dot 10 dot sorry And zero two dot one, and then click on save. So you can create like this. This video may be approximately ten to fifteen minutes because uh, when you create a VLAN interface, then it take time to create your configuration. So you need to make patience. Okay. So you can see printer VLAN created. Now I will create guest network, then line in line VLAN, line like desktop, laptop VLAN zone. Wow, we have created three VLANs. Yeah, it is taking small long time. But we don't have options. Admin villain CCTV printer. Again, one villain. Uh, its name. Mm, its name. Its name. Laptop. Desktop underscore villain. I have created same network for each area only except uh, admin network because admin uh, pool I want to create separate zone so anyone cannot know the zone wise so that's why I created separate pool for that so you can do like this desktop laptop VLAN created successfully always remember VLAN ID so that you can when you map on your switch, uh, switch like uh, Cisco, Aruba, D-Link so that you can remember this uh, trunk port and where this communication will be established so you can do like that I, I will create another video for uh, uh, how to attach interface to our VLAN so last one is guest like you know in our company we need to create a guest network always always create guest network different zone and different villain id so we have created uh, five villains and each villain's roles are different and now i will create dscp zone a dscp pool to assign these interfaces the dscp zone so that if you connect your uh, switches then automatically firewall relay the dscp ip to the client like when you map a switch port to this uh, two switch port <coughs> goes to vlan number 100 vlan number 200 vlan number 10 then automatically <coughs> Firewall will relay these DHCP from the <coughs> firewall network. So uh, once we have created VLAN, then we need to click on DHCP zone, and then after you can add DHCP. Click on add, give the name admin admin VLAN DHCP. Select interface now you can see there are multiple interfaces port a port a admin so you can see these are interfaces we have created so now uh, i i i have uh, uh, give the name tag admin villain dscp so admin villain i have selected here and then accept and now here we need to uh, give the ip uh, which ip range you want you want to create uh, these pools so 192 
डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड ओनली दीज एंड नाउ एवरीथिंग इज द सेम डोंट डू एनीथिंग जस्ट गो डाउन एंड यू कैन यूज डिवाइस डी एन एस इफ यू इफ हैव इफ यू हैव डी एन एस देन यू कैन यूज डी एन एस देन अदरवाइज यू कैन क्लिक ऑन ओके सो नाउ इन माई केस दिस इज माई डी एन एस सो आई हैव सेलेक्टेड हियर देन यू नीड टू क्लिक ऑन सेम बटन सो डू लाइक दिस सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड वन एड डी एस सी पी विलेन जोन सो यू कैन नाउ दीज आर आई पी रेंज वेन वी क्रिएट वेन वी असाइन एडमिन विलेन हंड्रेड टू एनी स्विच पोर्ट देन ऑटोमेटिकली दीज आई पी विल बी असाइन ऑन दैट पोर्ट सो नाउ वी कैन डू फॉर दर अनदर इंटरफेस नाउ हियर वी नीड टू सिलेक्ट सी सी टी वी विलेन सी सी टी वी डी एच सी पी and now again uh, here we need to define the ip address start and uh, uh, start and uh, so 10 dot 10 dot 100 dot 50 50 to depends on how many cctv no zone you can define this and if required dns then you can give otherwise you can save in my dscp switch case uh, enter the valuable dscp default list time how much time i can give what happened guys It is a valid gateway. Sorry, it's asking for gateway. Ten dot, ten dot, hundred dot one. It's asking for static IP, dynamic IP range. I think I have do some mistake. Oh, sorry, I don't want to select here. That's why. This is a automatically used gateway, and we need to click OK. I have accept via DSCP. That's why. So we have created two VLANs. Now again, we need to move again for next one. Uh, next one is our uh, printer. IP ten dot ten dot one zero two dot fifty. It's IP ten dot ten dot fifty two. How many printers in your network you can define? In my case, I have ten uh, printer printers, so I have given here seventy five for upcoming features. And use the use DNS settings. If you have, then you can click on save. Okay. so we have created three uh, four three dscp zone now two remaining still one for laptop uh we are client dhcp our client or 10.10.103.100 you can modify any time if required to 200 how many dsc how many systems in your network then you can define how many dscp required you need then you can define as per your network policy as per your network as per how many endpoints you have last one guest network so this is guest network for my wifi we have defined wifi
how many Wi-Fi in your zone or how many guests will be connected through the Wi-Fi then you can define so in my case I will go with uh, more because guests always come many so 150 now I am going to put here these are guest systems and DNS and then click on OK so we have uh, created uh, first we created interfaces VLAN interfaces then we created DSCP zone now we have uh, relay these IP now we, you need to do set up just uh, add this firewall to your switch and define the switch uh, port and then map the uh, VLAN ID then you can receive the DSCP that thing you need to do if you need anything more information then you can comment me email me definitely I will help you Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel video. Jai Hind.